car because it was due back and come to find out uh this poor guy here gave twenty six thousand dollars of his cash hard-earned money to the guy that actually rented it from us and the guy that actually rented it from us sold the car with a fake title so now you guys are looking at the same car our hellcat that's just been sold to this guy fraudulently and uh now we have a big situation on our hands and this is the kind of stuff we deal with which is absolutely insane guy literally plasti dipped the wheels put an srt logo on the back plasti dipped the trunk plasti dipped the top completely changed the look of the car but the car uh i met up with him two hours after i, I checked out the car gave him cash wrote down a receipt he gave me the title and it's just like that and he's gone I'm not gonna lie this dude might be the biggest idiot of 2023 i'm not sure do i feel bad for him a hundred percent what's up everybody if you guys saw that video let me break down what was going on if you guys already didn't have a breakdown from that but i'll give you guys a quick breakdown so that genius ended up hitting up a dude from craigslist and he said yo i see you got a hellcat for 26k hellcats are usually in the 50s what's going on let me come buy it he buys it he gives him 26k cash gives him his life savings the dude ends up running away probably going to a different state that man's like the happiest man ever turns out that man bought a rental car decided to never turn it back in he was like you know what we're gonna do a little finesse so we're gonna switch the tires we're gonna add a little bit of coating on the on the hood on the back and we're gonna sell it to some idiot and we're gonna get out of dodge now that is exactly what happened and honestly bro i don't know what this dude's problem is first of all Cra craigslist is the only place in the planet where you can get a yacht for twelve hundred dollars okay craigslist is literally nothing but scam central anybody who knows anything about craigslist knows that craigslist is scam central you go to craigslist you're gonna get scammed or at least there's gonna be a high likelihood of you getting scammed now on top of that, if you guys saw the picture that I'm putting on screen, that is the bill of sale that this man bought. Yes, that is the bill of sale. It looks like... <laughs> it's so ridiculous, but this is the bill of sale that this man got finessed out of. I mean, when I look at the bill of sale, I'm like, you know what? I don't feel as bad for this kid as I, as I probably should. But what do you guys think about this do you guys think he took the biggest l of 2023 or do you guys think that maybe he's redeemable what i'm telling you guys is in the future you if you guys are gonna buy a vehicle do more research than this guy you don't always have to buy from a dealer but if you're spending your hard-earned cash and your money and your savings please do some research i could probably what this guy thought he was doing was he thought he was buying a really cheap hellcat marked down and he was gonna try flipping it himself or that's just what i'm assuming i'm trying to assume he's not a complete moron but in the end of the day he just lost twenty six thousand dollars, and i don't even know if insurance or anything is gonna be able to help him from that this dude seems like he's out of luck he's sol so in the future guys please do some more research remember like comment subscribe it's your boy peace